All right, there's plenty of videos around for this, guys, but I'll do a quick just overview. I mean, there's a million videos on YouTube. You don't need to hear my dumb ass. Just showing you what we're doing to this vehicle, not necessarily a tutorial. But got to change all this, rebuild this, get it looking good with new rubber. Simple takeout. There's a 5 sixteenths there, 7 sixteenths there. If you follow the line down, that's where it's at. Screw there, screw there, screw there. These screws have these. Yeah, get it to focus. These interesting little collars on them. Don't lose the collars. There's two of them that have a collar, one don't. And then you're just going to grab this and you're going to pull towards the back of the door. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to clean all this up, clean the glass up, put the new rubbers in. I'm going to clean all the paint. It's probably sandblast. Probably sandblast this and uh, where this goes. Clean this up real good. So we have nice new glass. Sandblast this. Paint it all nice black. Make it look better. Then I can get the window out that's missing the sash on the bottom. I can put the new sash in. Get the window reinstalled. While this is out, if it don't rain today, because it rains every day in Florida. Um, I'll clean this edge up and get some patina going on that probably. Um, at least the edge where the molding's going to go. Then I can tape off from there, but I mean there's already some good stuff going. I'm just going to run some sandpaper over it. Probably going to take this mirror off, which is just a set screw down here and everything pops off. Get this cleaned up. Get them painted. I'm just going to do the one door today, I think. I'll probably take this off too. Um, I think I'm gonna do all the handles black. I think I'm gonna do the mirror black, do that black. Get around to these handles when I get ready, do those black. Um, yeah, get this cleaned up, get it black. We'll see. It's kind of the plan. Then I can go over the patina, the full patina, but that'll be a separate video. These are all gonna be separate videos, I think. I'm gonna do a video on the rebuild of this. Just to show it's been done. I mean, it's again good videos. Brothers Trucks does a really good video on how to rebuild those. So, but I'm just gonna go through. This isn't a how-to on anything. Just showing quickies and anything I come up with that uh, I haven't seen anybody else do. Um, then we'll show that in detail. But otherwise, just quickie because you can find it anywhere else. Pretty simple. this trim that's in here just to show I already took that out you can see where it was painted but this is supposed to be rubber and it it breaks like hard plastic that's how old and brittle and junky this stuff is so we're gonna get that all out I got all new for that don't know if I'm gonna put it in right away probably should with the glass out that's why I want to do the patina around the edges I guess so I can put that put that in I just don't want paint on it later, so. All right, that's what we're doing. All right, guys. <clears throat> Got that window out and that rusty sash. Um, this is the new one. Shiny. It's gonna go on this way because this is the inside of the glass. And the rollers for the regulator. Go in this side here's your point where the one roller is going to go in and then you'll slip the other roller in this side <sighs> first of all we're going to clean off the glass i'm going to make some marks in the dirt where i believe this was centered and then i'll clean off all the other garbage get the went nice and clean and then we've got this rubber gasket that folds. Fold it up, stick it in there. Might put it on the glass first, we'll see. Got some window cleaner to lube it, if that's what we're gonna do. And uh, let me get after that. I don't have a tripod. 
need two hands but don't take much i'm gonna use a window cleaner to clean the window that's what it's for glass cleaner cleaning glass something like that use a razor blade I got a new razor scrape all the paint over spray that's on here and the smudgings and the years of stuff i might even grab some uh quad out steel wool give her a good shining then we'll clean off all this garbage so that that has a nice clean surface to sit to and we'll hammer that on light tappy tap of that get her seated and she'll be ready to go back in um i'll probably set it in there Make sure, well, I'm probably gonna take the regulator out. It's still pretty stiff. It needs a little, needs a little lubing in the old uh, gear mechanism. So I'll probably do that while it's out. And then we'll put the new gaskets in. I'm gonna run a little sandpaper over the edge of that glass where the new gaskets are gonna sit so my patina's started. We are gonna patina that truck one way or another because it's horrible right now. It needs to be, anything I do will be better. So it'll be an improvement. Stay tuned. So hot rotting's never easy. Even the simple things are never simple. So this is the part of the door that the window goes up and down in. This part bolts to the outside of your door. This would be the inside of the cab. This goes down in the door. And oh, something's missing. Now that would be this part that bolts behind your door panel. So you can see spot weld broke and the other one rusted off so we have part of the spot weld there this goes behind there fit in there like that so at least there's that so we can line it up and that lines it up evenly on that side so I'm gonna throw a tack on it to hold it in place and then I already cleaned off there and I'm gonna tack there run a little bead there run a little bead there and it'll be as good as new because it ain't rusted the only thing rusted out was a damn tack weld damn it so yeah one more thing to do before we put her back oh and this is my disaster of an area this is all the stuff out of that truck waiting to go back in sitting inside waiting to be painted waiting to be done it's a disaster in here can't wait to start putting it back together and get my space back. All right, nothing ever is smooth and easy. Tacked it once. I was able to throw a crappy tack there because it kept not wanting to go, but that's all you need. It ain't much pressure on it. I just had that and one other one over there from the factory, so this will be more than enough for another 35 years. And no, I didn't weld it on here. I went on the floor and sparked up and hope I didn't light my damn shop on fire, but someday I'll have this place cleaned up. I can actually do quality work out of it. Quality garage shade tree mechanic crap. All right, we're gonna put that back in. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Dang. Videotape came off, came undone. So. Working on dash. Got the strip out. It's got a few broken studs. So when it's all said and done, I'll probably glue it in here just to make sure it stays. Um, or double side tape it so it stays good because there's a couple broken ones like that one there. And that one there, maybe get one on, but that one's missing. So I've got a couple of ends and some in the middle, so I might be all right. But I'm gonna repaint this with Eastwood's plastic resurfacer. Works good. I've used it on plenty of things. Makes it look like brand new plastic. And then I'll see about this outside edge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I might just leave it. I'm going to tape it when I paint it. But um, I got these chrome markers. I might be able to redo these. This lip. The raised lip. Let's see that there's a raised lip there as well as the outside lip, and it's missing some of the, the chrome. Um, as well as this badge here. 
pretty good shape, but it's this old chrome that was on there is coming off, or the silver. I've got these chrome pens that are pretty amazing when it's done. It looks just like chrome. I just don't know how well they last, but worth a try. It'll look better than that, that's for sure. So I'll be doing that next. And uh, then i got to knock down all this stuff because i got a new cover for this. And it glues onto this, so it's got to be flush and flat. And this is dry rotted to death and poking up, so I'll take a razor and I'll cut this wider, cut it down. I might even fill it a little bit um, just to help the void. And then the new one, the new one glues on over the top of it, so sits right down in there. It'll look a hell of a lot better than this, that's for sure. I'll clean this really good though, and then obviously what wax and degrease it and all that stuff so the new stuff sticks. But yeah, we'll get all this crust cut off so it's a nice flush fit. That's the next step. Stay tuned. Alright, cut it back a little bit. Oh, there's the grill I painted. We'll get at that later. So I'll cut it back so it's flat, not sticking up. That curl didn't turn out too bad. It's a little darker in stock, but beats buying a new one. Get it cleaned up, but that's what it looks like. I have a little uppity duppity there. You know how brittle that shit is? There. All right. So let me just. Take this here thing. Fixed. Look at that. Brand spanking new. It's beautiful. Oh no, I'm gonna go through and stuff you're gonna see through the windshield is that. This will be tucked. That'll be sticking on. It's, it's funny they don't get them to cover a little better than that. A little bit on the bottom, a little on the side. and flush the holes there. Well, regardless of what anybody thinks, that's a major improvement for not a lot of money. I mean, instead of spending 450 bucks, this is 120 plus shipping. $10 shipping, so 130 bucks. Yeah, so what? We'll get that glued on, let it sit overnight. I think I'm going to trim along this area here. Let me look at the dash. I think that I can trim that back and it'll look better. And that all busted up shit. I don't know. We'll see. And then the vents. I think this has to sit in the better. Oh, yeah. It'll sit tighter there. Tighter there. Make sure the vents are in. I don't want to do that, but yeah, a little finessing. Huge improvement though. Three hundred dollars cheaper. Oh, now I can start getting some of this stuff put in and get it out of my life instead of being all piled in here. Yeah, we don't want you to look too close on any of Alright, little update on this. Dash turned out pretty good. What I didn't, I don't believe I took a picture of is I stripped all the vinyl off. Because this didn't fit snug in and around here. It sat flush and was out further than the normal one. Where now you can see it actually sits in um, and it actually sits in and doesn't have half the all the way to the edge sits in there's no extra overhang on a lot of them you see they have it, it overhangs like that much sticking out the back and this was really shot I didn't need that sticking out there looking like hell holes line up better 
Um, I had to re-glue this because I made the mistake after doing all of that. This actually fit a lot better, these edges. And when I was doing the first fit, they say do it with this on and then fit over. And this does, it fits over onto there, but it was touching the black because it didn't sit back far enough. So when I was fitting it after I peeled all the blue vinyl off of this and left the factory foam, it looked like this was going to fit perfectly because this was now tucked into where it was supposed to be tucked in. Well, I was wrong. So I pulled this apart, the glue on here. It hadn't set a full 24 hours yet. And I uh, was able to fish this under the lip. And in there, I had to round off the corners a little bit because they stuck out too far. Fished it in there. And then pulled this back and that popped in there. And then... Uh, just re-gluing it. Going to let it set for another 24 hours and it'll be done. This end went in pretty good. I got to drill the hole for here. But overall, it just fits in there so much nicer. So a guy on YouTube, um, I'll have to post his link or whatever, Rustic Customs, I think is what he's called. He's the only one I've seen to do it. And you use a torch, heat up the heat up the old hard vinyl it gets soft for a minute and you peel a section you can actually cut it nice and then peel a section then heat up the next section cut it peel that and you work your way across it took me about an hour maybe maybe 45 minutes got it all peeled off nice and now this fits so much better i mean it looks good before i was like yeah it'll be good enough i mean 120 bucks from lmc Hundred with ten bucks sh oversized shipping, um, way better than four hundred and twenty nine bucks plus. I think I found it for three ninety nine, but it was still going to be another twenty nine dollars shipping to get a new pad, the whole new dash it itself. So I'm a lot happier with it. This is yeah, it's less expensive, but I think it looks good now. It actually actually looks like it's supposed to. So yeah, there you go. There's a pile of all the peelings. I still got to clean that up. But one step closer, guys. One step closer. Yeah, I got the new grill on. I haven't got those yet. I'm still waiting on headlight adjusters. Both of them are dry rotted and bad. So I'm going to take the headlights out, put new adjusters in, and then I'll put the rings on. But that grill looks pretty natural. It's not the best, but it's way better than it was. Got this painted up here. And fresher looking one piece at a time it's coming along it's all we can do chugga chugga all right got the leds hooked up hard to tell it's bright out i'm gonna have to get a different that flasher just slow for leds backup lights are on on the high side those flash it's a slow blinker These blank. Those blank. The roof lights. Got the roof lights working. So yeah, the only lights I have left to wire up are these on both sides. I have them. I just got to drill those out and put the new ones in. We're good to go. Yeah, they flash a little faster when you turn all the lights off, so I'm going to have to get the... Huh. I'm going to have to get another flasher. There's two of them in there, so I can only change one to an LED. Yeah, okay. Alright, got the grill and the surround headlight surrounds in. Looking much gooder. Much gooder. A little more cleaning. Way better than it was. Especially with the new lenses, new bulbs. Everything's straightened out. New adjusters so the bulbs ain't hanging. Yeah. It's the little things. It's the little things.